The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition. Man, there's still something going on in the background there. Another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour with me. And of course, it doesn't matter where me is as long as we are together at the appointed time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have going on today? Well, certainly it is a uh, market that uh, is starting to get the message. Uh, and, uh, you know, you had to know that the uh, chickens were eventually going to come home to roost on the uh, massive incompetence of a lot of stuff happening over the last year, year and a half. And uh, we're starting to see that. Um, right now, um, it took a little while, but uh, the dock situation eh, mostly taken care of in in, uh, uh, in uh, uh, California on the uh, docks where I actually spent some time. I lived for about six weeks on the Queen Mary um, during a, a movie shoot over there. Uh, and all the animators were in the uh, ballroom there. So I spent a lot of time at, at, on Long Beach and on the Queen Mary. And in the bar, which I don't know if it's still there, it was called the Churchill, Winston Churchill. And uh, I, 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 I started a uh, lifelong love affair there. And uh, it was with uh, uh, a, uh, a, uh, a beer. <laughs> it's very tough to figure out that you would end up loving motor oil uh, but uh, yeah there was uh, there's some beers uh, in the Churchill that were very 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 thick almost syrupy so full but uh, yeah I do digress anyway as I said uh, a lot of things uh, we're seeing today after the bell last night of course uh, one of the big losers of the day uh, and last night where uh, was Walmart uh, it uh, currently is off about eight percent I think it was down as much as 12 percent earlier uh, or later last night or earlier this morning. I guess we probably ought to pull a few of these up on the charts already in progress over most of TFNN. Uh, WMT. Uh, two, two, two. So what do we have out here? Anyway, uh, right back down to the lows. Uh, got a few out here. Um What's the other one? Um, it's not that. I'm thinking about it now. Okay. Oh, it's Shopify. S H O P. Shopify, too, on my list of stuff uh, that we'll get to here. Uh, anyway, uh, Walmart started a, the party rolling last night right after the earnings with a pre announcement. Um, again, uh, the dereliction of duty and uh, just the uh, in sheer incompetence uh, of uh, the docks uh, are starting now to roll through the economy. Uh, and you, you, you knew that eventually it was going to hit. And uh, so really Walmart's talking about uh, issues with uh, – you know, not getting their Christmas stuff, and it's still hanging around, and uh, the spits and starts from getting all that taken care of. Actually, it's going to roll through, at least for their earnings, all through the next quarter. Uh, so they wanted to uh, come out, and uh, as uh, I'm saying, uh, the next few days are going to be the come-to-Jesus moment, if you're unfamiliar 
with a uh, kind of a Baptist upbringing uh, at the very end of the sermon. It's all about coming to Jesus. Well, we're going to have that come to Jesus moment, I suspect, over the next week or two, uh, where people at least uh, get the idea. And uh, as far as I can tell, um, there's no shortage of uh, reality deniers um, about uh, changing course in our policies, so I don't think they're going to get any better. Uh, from energy to a great deal of other ones, uh, they are incredibly destructive to the economy. And I thought maybe we'd get to this point and throwing a few of these uh, folks uh, under the bus uh, by their own party would be enough to give a wake-up call. Uh, but it doesn't seem like anybody – it seems like we're headed in the Titanic. Uh, to the iceberg, and the captain's just yelling, uh, let's, uh, let's get there twice as fast. There's no, there's no re- reason to in- avoid it or make it any better. Let's just, just double, let's, let's put on more coal, not less. Uh, and uh, so I, I thought maybe we'd get to this point and there would be an awakening uh, political um over the last week, as I said, we kind of saw uh, some of these folks throw the uh, uh, the big guy under the bus. It didn't change any of the policies, at least till now. Generally, um, those things probably would have mitigated some of the downside. Uh, but um, I see absolutely no evidence that anybody's going to do anything. Uh, we're going to see uh, Nero uh, play the fiddle as Rome burns. So we'll see uh, if that changes at all. Maybe we'll, maybe there'll be a bigger wake up call. Uh, but, uh, I don't see any evidence of it whatsoever. And generally in politics and, uh, uh, world events, you start seeing it about now for our election cycle. Uh, and, uh, if you're not going to change anything, don't be surprised that the results are not going to be any different. Anyway, on Walmart, we see a huge move down. Uh, 22 million shares uh, really uh, looks like it's going to go blow out the 117.27, which is the low of May 20th. So don't see much out there. Probably one of the bigger stories of the day is Shopify, which is already down a lot. Um, And uh, let's do this. Um, one of the interesting things is a gap down today. They don't report till tomorrow. And options still have plus or minus 15% on them for tomorrow. Even after this huge gap down, it hasn't changed. So uh, do they blow through uh, the lows at $30? Um, I mean, really 20 high, 29s, that could be it. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's it. Anyway, uh, as I said, I am uh, really started on Friday. I was kind of fairly bearish. And, uh, you know, I don't think anything's going to be good or uh, wonderful this week. We'll be back in a minute. booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 hey i gotta type this out And anyway, Rodney Dangerfield, uh, he comes to me in my dreams. 877-927-6648. Uh, <laughs> um, got a lot of stocks out here moving today. Uh, not expecting any... Uh, uh, I, I, one of my favorite movies of all time uh, is Das Boat, both in the uh, uh, English and German versions of the thing. It was originally a six-part miniseries for uh, for uh, German and British television, and then it was uh, whittled down into a movie. Uh, but, uh, man, probably the best war movie ever made, probably. I'm going to say so. But I always remember that uh, they're all uh, – all their, their, they all believe uh, that the ship's going to – uh, go to crush depth and blow up and uh, they end up on a sandbar the only one in 20 miles in any direction and save the boat but uh oh spoiler the movie's only been out for 40 years or 35 years but excellent movie excellently shot uh makes me think of when i see movies now that could be good and they're just horrible uh it just makes me sad Kind of like uh, Netflix's uh, Gray Man movie that could have been. I mean, the book had so much stuff in it, and of course, all they did was make it the same. Uh, uh, they, it, the the genre now is called gun fu, G U N F U instead of kung fu, and uh, it uh, eh, just getting old, like all the superhero movies. I thought it could be a lot more. They spent two hundred million dollars on it. Uh, it's going to come and go, and no one's going to understand it or not even remember it, my guess, in a month. And probably brings up a great deal of uh, flashbacks to Apple uh, getting into the iPod business and the music business and running it into the ground. Right now, I suspect that between Disney and Netflix and Amazon, uh, they're getting ready to, uh, to actually destroy the movie industry instead of save it uh, with the line of – 
very forgettable things uh, and spending huge money on it. You give me $200 million, I've never made a movie in the world. I'll guarantee it's going to be great. Um, just like Smuckers. Anyway, as I do digress, a lot of other stocks, we're going to just go through as many as we can uh, as we get into probably what is going to be horrifically bad news for the rest of the week. Uh, Zoom's down a little bit, 5%. Not a lot of volume so far. I've been watching that on the rare occasion that maybe uh, that the uh, plan for this fall, which is massive shutdowns again for some unknown reason. Um, since they didn't really particularly work before. At least the results weren't any better than not shutting down. We already know that. So don't see much going on in that. Uh, other ones out here that uh, are interesting, uh, Dollar Tree, uh, it actually had a little bit more volume back up here at the highs. Uh, it did test the... 177.19 that goes back to april 21st at uh, 203 quarter million shares got into it with three and a quarter million shares but did not hold that high just got into the candle now you have a couple of big gaps lower again a lot of this is pin action from walmart last night pypl some of these other ones out here uh, also down five percent on the day um we talked a great deal about uh, the uh, double repo pattern setting up and uh, the 10, 15, 18 days above it in a bear market, that is something you really want to watch for because that's generally when you start having your problems. Again, could we? are we going to blow out this week? No, probably not. Maybe late on Friday. But I'm suspecting we get a couple of days, uh, maybe a little bit of a, a attempt to rally uh, either late this week, maybe Monday next week. And then if we go lower, then uh, it's going to be car, uh, Katie bar the door. So those p patterns haven't all shaped up, but I think we at least have a 3750 on the S&P cash uh, test coming. My guess is it's going to bust that low. And we're probably looking more around 3,600 to find some kind of low before we go into the uh, into September and fall. Okay, um, other stocks uh, of significant misery and downfall: FTNT. Um, is that right? F T N T. Uh, two, 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 okay. Uh, Fortnet. Um, big candle. Not a lot of volume so far, but a lot of people getting out of the way. I think that tells you a, a great deal. Support probably comes in at 55. Question in the den uh, about uh, Verizon. And uh, I think we covered this with another um stock and that is no because again uh especially in a uh, recession no one likes a company that has to spend lots of money and these companies are going to have to spend huge amounts of money even then uh the supply chain crisis as they're calling it now is very problematic for fiber optic uh, fiber optic cable and that's what these guys are all on uh, waiting on to actually expand. So not only are they spending money, it's hard getting the product and it's very expensive right now. But uh, for Verizon, it's all about buying fiber optic cable and putting up 5G towers. And uh, just on a variety of uh, forward facing uh, issues, cellular are probably not going to be a good investment until these guys get done building out now. I'd much rather be somewhere else in that space, uh, like the people that make the towers or, or, or that, uh, than in these guys themselves until they quit spending a lot. When they quit spending, it's going to be time to reap the whirlwind, but until then, problematic. Uh, another thing is you've got two gaps down. Uh, I would look for the third in Verizon before any kind of low comes in. 
to 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 what else do we have? Uh, other tech companies uh, not looking good, having a bad hair day. Uh, to to uh, MongoDB down volume hadn't really picked up. What are we about two thirty here? Uh, but certainly looks like we're gonna get in a lot of these a retest of the low. I've been saying that for about four days now. And that's 231.34. And if you want my call on just about everything this week, it's going to be this. There will be a giant sucking sound. Yes, there will. A giant sucking sound. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're back. Uh, question, what do I think today? I think, you know, I don't know how we're going to end up, but I would not be surprised to see a close around 3,900 on the S&P cash. And, uh, you know, I would be remiss of not saying I think this is going to be one of the most vicious up and down moves in our day coming. So I think uh, if you're going to be long or short, what's, I'm going to be short. You just kind of have to sit on your hands and sit back uh, unless you're trading in our day. But I think there's going to be a lot of money to be made on both sides. Uh, overall, it's going to be down. But, uh, you know, during the day, you're probably going to have sharp uh, interday uh, short squeeze rallies out of this thing. And then it's going to just give it all up again. And I think it's going to be, uh, you know, three steps back, two steps forward kind of stuff. Um, we had kind of we went through all the 
uh, ballistic stocks yesterday, and generally you get those ballistic stocks, it doesn't come down just the same way. It does get that kind of uh, uh, cha-cha when you go forward and back a bit, and I'm kind of expecting that kind of very choppy but uh, overall lower trading uh, now probably through uh, the uh, Memorial Day weekend. I don't see, unless we see some kind of tr true change in policy, but I don't think we get it in the Fed. Uh, they uh, historically, uh, if they're tightening, they're going to tighten right up until uh, the first meeting of September, uh, in which case they'll get out of the way before the elections and probably won't do anything uh, before the elections until after the elections. So probably if you see something happen, it'll be in that September meeting. And then uh, you're done. They're, in fact, it, they may not do anything in September either. But generally uh, in election cycles, they like to get it done beforehand, not after, so that they can stay out and act uh, pure as the wind-driven snow uh, in that lead up into the November elections, whether the presidential or just congressional as they are this time. So I'm not looking for them to do anything other than be uh, their continuous hawkishness. Uh, and maybe the only thing that happens is they get this all out of the way by September, become or sound a little bit dovish, and maybe we get some kind of uh, fall rally uh, that starts in there. But I don't see a lot changing out here. As I said, uh, 3900 for today would not be – uh, past the stretch of imagination. When you have stocks uh, like Shopify uh, that are down 15% and still have another 15% implied move into their options for earnings uh, tomorrow, that gives you everything you need to know about what market makers uh, behind all this stuff think, and that is they don't want a lot of exposure. Uh, question about what I'm looking for in Microsoft. Um, it is uh, to, 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 uh, thoughts on UVXY direction and UVXY calls. Uh, kind of covered that a little bit before, and that is that I think that it's going to be so choppy that the decay may be problematic on the way down. Uh, if you're going to do those, you're probably going to want to play them during the day. And I think you can make a lot, but the problem is – just one day of the market going sideways or slightly up, and they'll take it all back in the UVXY. Uh, why I'm kind of favoring the positions I have now for my subscribers, which are basically ones where we can sit on our hands on them for a longer period of time. Because uh, it's going to be very tough to go in there and uh, pick out every little put uh, uh, higher and lower in the market. Uh, see, da, da, da. I know about the thing. Uh, yeah, da, 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 da. Actually, there's a fourth gap. Why do you think this occurs? Something about companies not having bad news tend to do over longer. I don't know. Um, but uh, I like the three gap play. And generally, it sets up, especially at highs, great opportunities to short um, markets for stocks that are generally highly shorted. And finally, everybody gives up the ability to short, and uh, that's it. But uh, sometimes there's a fourth gap. That's generally because they're going to zero. <laughs> I think that's it, Jay. Okay, so we got that one. The Doug Man check, uh, checks in saying, swing away from uh, the movie Signs, which is actually another great movie. Um, probably the last great movie that uh, M. Night Shyamalan uh did, although I, I haven't seen the one he did after Broken, but uh, I'll have to get a chance to see it. Uh, to two. Okay. Oh, it's a TV in another room. Kept on thinking that someone was in here trying to talk to me. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, strategies. Okay, a little more. Okay, let's get back to the market already in progress. Okay, Z Scaler down about 10%. Let's take a look at that. Uh, tractor Supply uh, looks like it's uh, headed lower back down to 166, 49. I don't think there's a lot in that. Uh, Z Scaler, uh, ZS. 
Um, yeah, down to 125. You got a lot of volume today. Uh, you're certainly going to be able to do more volume than that June 16th low. And you never really tested that uh, May 18th low. For So first target would be 125.12 uh, for Ronald. Uh, Ulta Salon, U-L-T-A, which I you kind of have to like because it's got a lot of traffic around it. I go by that store and there's always a line going in and out. But uh, I don't know. Maybe that's more antidotal for my local area. But uh, as they say in boats, it's not the cost of the boat. It's the cost of the rigging. And uh, Ulta Beauty sells a lot of rigging uh, for, uh, for making females look uh, more attractive. So uh, nice day. You got a little bit more volume out here. This kind of sets up a little bit more as a triangle pattern, so I don't see it as uh, weak as the rest. Uh, on the upside, on the sunny side of life, uh, what else do we have out here? Uh, 3M, uh, for those people that are saying today that I, I, I have too many negative waves. Don't you knock it off with them negative waves! Why don't you dig how beautiful it is out here? Why don't you say something righteous and hopeful for a change? Yes, well, 3M, uh, trying to unlock some of its value, is splitting off its medical division. So if you wanted something that looked good here today and positive, eh, there's a few of them out here. Certainly 3M, the rest of their business, didn't look that good. But uh, about 25% of the revenues come out of uh, the medical field, and they're going to spin that whole thing off uh, and say that they're going to unlock some value. Probably not a uh, probably not a bad strategy going into what most likely will be a recession, unless we decide to actually change uh, pass on policy. As I said earlier in the show, it looks to me like uh, they're doubling down. We've got a bus driver who's drunk uh, and crashed uh, three buses already and we're giving them a fourth and two bottles of Jack Daniels. So we shall see. Anyway, a uh, huge pop on this one. It's probably going to hold up better than the rest. When we come back, we got a question about the TLT and we will handle that. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Quick question uh, in the den for Bristol Myers Squibb. Um, you at least got kind of close into the uh, June 16th low um, back here on J July 20th. Volume was about 2 million shares lighter. Not enough for me to say that uh, 71.22 doesn't get retested. But you have to like the pullback from July 27th on light volume down to that low. Uh, which came close, but not much. Uh, probably, uh, if you, uh, if I'm wrong about being uh, bearish on the general market, um, my guess is that this one would probably outperform on the opposite side. Uh, general Electric, um, just too many people short for the most part. Nice pop. Bit of a squeeze up to 73.37, gave back about half of that so far. Uh, actually, a little dour on uh, its uh, ability to sell windmills going, f uh, yeah, windmills going forward, uh, as it's uh, somewhat problematic. But uh, eh, actually, everybody was just a little bit too bearish on that. ADM supermarket to the world. Uh, I'm actually showing this higher. I don't know what's going on here. It is the 26, right? I get. Oh, I put an AMD here uh, instead of ADM supermarket to the world. You got to say that every after every time. Uh, you got some nice decent volume, of course. Uh, if you're gonna hide out in something, uh, food is probably one of the things since they're. Uh, busy making a mess out of that with its with policies on fertilizers and the rest, so probably not a bad idea. Um, TLT had one of the best bond act, uh, auctions in the year on the five year today. Uh, not a lot of volume out here, uh, but I do expect uh, what three quarters or one percent tomorrow. And that's probably going to set this thing sailing back down to the 112.05 level. Uh, but uh, you know when things, uh, everybody's starting to get nervous when they're going to buy a loser like bonds just because they think they're going to less, lose less money than buying a loser like equities. But uh, one of the strongest uh, bond market buys by uh, non-bond insiders that is uh, general public, uh, corporations, that kind of stuff, uh, finding places to shove their cash. Uh, people are starting to uh, run for the exits. Um, not a good policy, but if you can get 2 or 3% and you just think that inflation is going to be 6%, at least you're going to get 3 of the 6% back. If you put it in other corporations uh, during the next three months in a giant flush lower, uh, that's it. But uh, they went for the five years in a big way today. So that was uh, interesting. Uh, McDonald's uh, talking about more regional pricing, depending on conditions. Uh, nice candle on this one. Uh, generally a bad sign for the general economy. 
But uh, if you're looking for a nice uh, engulfing kind of candle out here on the Mickey D's, you've got it today. You got more volume. You're not holding the previous high, but again, at this point, uh, you're looking at the bad, uh, looking for the best house in what's going to be a bad neighborhood, I suspect, for the next 60 days, maybe a little less. Eh, Memorial Day weekend. Okay, what else do we have on my list of stuff? Um, although in the military sector, um, Raytheon did not really report anything uh, that was horribly bad. Uh, certainly didn't respond well to earnings. But again, I suspect uh, a big triangle pattern out here where since uh, really the June 7th high, you've had nothing but uh, – and the uh, June 17th low, you've had lower highs and higher lows. And you're just kind of inside that today. Volume is a little bit better. You want to watch for the close out here. Uh, we're down 50 – what? Let me see. Did I do that right? Down 51, 52-ish uh, at 315. Could we get a flush to 300? I mean, 3,900 on the close, uh, probable. Um, but uh, you got a couple things out here telling you things uh, that are bad and probably getting very bad quickly uh, with uh, crude, um, the supply not getting that much better and the price going lower. Uh, you also have gold kind of at least finding some kind of low out here too. But uh, – I think crude oil being lower with the supply really hadn't changed that much uh, is really telling me that uh, uh, apparently a lot of the things going on here are now starting to really have an effect. Okay, what is out, out here? Um, okay. UBS. UBS always reminds me of IBS because all those ads on TV about – irritable bowel syndrome but UBS out here back into the lows uh, not quite the almost 13 million shares back on March 7th of this year of our Lord uh, and uh, what do we got about 7.5 um, hard to really think that uh, these guys are going to do bad with higher interest rates uh, Visa still holding better if you're looking for the best house in a bad neighborhood, uh, Visa certainly looks interesting. Um, the master, oh, what is Mastercard? Uh, MA, okay. Senior moment there. <laughs> um, Mastercard maybe. 325 ish, uh, but certainly higher interest rates are generally uh, good for the uh, MasterCard and Visa. Both of those could probably pull back a little bit, but if you have to be long, uh, my guess is that is where everybody's going to go to if the market does start moving higher. Uh, do, what else do we have out here? Uh, UPS on earnings. Um, didn't do well. Don't think that's going to change with the rest. High fuel prices, uh, declining recessionary economy, um, even fuel prices coming back doesn't help them a whole lot. Um, but uh, you got a high with about the same energy uh, and volume as the high back on June 6th and gave it all up. Uh, again, not a good sign almost in, across the board on these. Uh, Colonel Motors used to be General Motors, uh, but uh, he's been demoted today, down about 3%. Uh, it's very hard to think with higher interest rates that things are going to change uh, and be any better until we probably see uh, stabilization in interest rates, but uh, down today, volume's okay. Uh, I think 30 bucks is where this thing is going to find support yet again.
Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And what else we have out here? Okay, I think that answered, I answered the rest of the questions during the break. And see what else we have out here. Well, take a look at it. Uh, again, volume was fairly weak up into the highs. And again, volume probably going to be fairly weak into uh, the Fed decision tomorrow at 2. Probably going to have uh, some um, earnings action, first of all. Uh, into uh, eh, what else do we have here uh, into that uh, uh, reaction from earnings tonight and tomorrow so a uh, lot of action I don't think we've gotten enough bearishness out as I said I think uh, between Microsoft and Google um, Microsoft may be down to 240 is kind of where I'm thinking although I'm not betting but I am thinking uh, that it could hit 240. Uh, Google, hard to tell, another 5% lower, maybe. Again, there's nothing that's uh, good for the news for any of these companies. Uh, and uh, Microsoft, to a lesser extent, uh, Google, Facebook, uh, and the media stocks to a bigger one. Uh, a bigger issue out here on 
uh, the EU new laws that are really going to put a drag on it. Now, as, as I said, they really just uh, did those about two weeks ago, so maybe everybody thought it was just a little bit too late to really comment on them. But uh, tonight, tomorrow night, really want to start watching about what they say about uh, the EU and how much of a drag these new laws are going to be. I think they're going to be rather substantial. Um, so either they're going to tell the truth and it goes down or they're going to lie or avoid it. But uh, I think everybody knows in the know. So when you can, not when you have to. And I mean that now. See you tomorrow. We'll be back like a bad rat. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems a